Okay guys, what's up? Supercrossed here and I wanted to show you guys how to how to make your own levels in CryEngine 3. Um a lot of people have been asking, not me, but just the internet how to do this. Um CryEngine 3, if you don't know what that is, it's what they used to make Crisis 2. Um if you've played Crisis 2 on PC, not on Xbox, you've seen how amazing the graphics and physics and everything are. And I just wanted to show you guys how to start off. So the first thing that you want to do is go to this website, mycryengine.com. My I'll put that in the description. Um, just download it. It's 1 gigabyte, 1.1 gigabytes, I think. Um, it's free to use. And unless you're going to be taking the software or anything that you make and selling it, you have to get a license. But if you make something and give it out for free, you don't need a license. So just download that. Um, oh, and keep in mind that if you are going to be running this program, it's recommended that you have a dedicated graphics card because if you don't, it's just going to lag a lot. You, you won't be able to do anything. Um, I have two. two um, GTX 560s, each of them have 2 gigabytes of video memory, which is, it's more than you need for one 1080p display, but if, when you're making games like that, you need that much space to load all the textures and stuff into it. So, yeah, so if, now that you have it downloaded, what you want to do is go to File, um, New, and now just map, make a name for your map. Just put map 001 and for this unless you are making a huge map that's good enough um that's fine too if you put four it makes the map bigger so just put two um so just press ok ok make a new map ok so now it's going to ask you what project do you want to save it as so just put none for now it's it doesn't do anything and it's going to load the map as you can see it's just an ocean with pretty pretty low resolution water and now what you want to do is go to this um section of the program i guess and go to this it's like a skateboard ramp or it says terrain go to modify and right here now depending on how big you want your things to be it doesn't matter i just make it nice and big um inside rate i don't know what this does i'll have to look that up and hardness now this if you want to make a smooth map like smooth not like mountainy and stuff put this down to like point O2 or something and then that's okay and now or er, the height needs to be raised the height to be above ground needs to be at least 80 I think so now you can see this yellow line where it shows you where it's pointing at and yeah that's too tiny okay there we go now to move in this program just use WSAD there's some hotkeys, but I'm not going to go over that since there's a ton of hotkeys. Now, once you have it done, if it's not smooth like how you want it, just press the smooth button, make the radius big, and then just smooth it out. You can change this to make it to change how smooth you want the map to be. And okay, so that's pretty much it for that. Once you have it made, what you want to go and do is, is put that back to whatever you want it to be. Go to texture right here. And now this is what you see on the screen. So let me just go back here. These, that's two meters per inch right there, or per tile. And that's what you see. So press that, go here, and now go to materials go to it doesn't matter what you pick you can just like that might be used for an inside house but i'm just gonna go to terrain and pick let's see ground mossy and then press this button right here assign item to selected objects press that 
and then I'll click that and press assign material now as you can see it changed it from nothing to this and now as you can see the entire map is painted in that and but it's white so what you want to go and do is go to layer painter go here and put whatever color you want it to be I think I picked mossy so I'm just gonna pick a dark green kind of okay and then just go and paint it I just, just paint it you can change the radius oh that's too big I don't know what this does okay so it makes it how smooth you want it to be if it's at one it's gonna have hard edges as you can see if it's at anything but one if I put it at point three and put that down it's gonna be much smoother so if you're making this transition to a beach or something you might want to have it smooth so I'm just gonna paint the entire map in this put it to one and so now what you've done is you have made the basic terrain shape you've painted it in with what you want it's not very dynamic it's just a 2d or it's a it's a 3d thing uh 3d island but it's just grass or whatever texture you picked so it's not anything that interesting and then uh, what you want to go and do if the, you don't have to do this press control is g and it goes into testing mode and uh, if you're gonna do this you need a ah. you need a very high-end system to do this um because it's not let me turn down the sound because it's not just rendering out the map it's also rendering out the player and the map again so you're editing it and playing at the same time so it uses a ton of resources if i can show you guys right here um let me go into game mode so as you guys can see right there on the side of the screen it has my cpu meter and my two gpus and they're running at a very high frequency I mean the CPU it's not not as much CPU this program isn't that CPU intensive unless you're adding physics and stuff but the GPUs they're running at about 90% almost all the time so you're gonna need a very strong computer and when it's when you are playing the game like nighttime and everything goes on at the same time I mean there are shadows and everything if you can see that shadow back there and uh, I mean that's pretty much it for this episode I've shown you guys how to make a map um, just one more thing I want to show you guys like I said before if you want to if you want to smooth this out into a beach setting you have to add a new layer Oh, that's the one I just pressed. Okay, it's the bottom one. Go down to terrain. And then just put that to what you want it to be. There's sand. Okay, beach, white sand. Press that button. Assign. And now you have that. So go to layer painter. Just put this down a bit. And put the hardness down. Okay, that was too much. You, you press Control Z to go back or to undo. And now we have a nice beach, as you guys can see. The farther out you are from the map, the less smooth it's going to look. And yeah, as you guys can see, there's our sand. And now, just because this is sand, you can change the color of it. So you can have. Let press OK. Or I guess not. It only, if it's sand or stuff like that, you can't change the color, but some you can. So what we've done today is we've made this map. Um, in the next episode, I'm going to show you guys how to add vegetation, like trees and grass and stuff. How to change the properties of those things, grass and trees and such. 
and thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys next time